Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to create a project today for Pretty Pink Posh and we are using the Summer Drinks stamp set. This is part of their recent release. Um, I do have the coordinating dies and we're also going to use a few more things from the shop. This is the Layered Cloud stencil set. There's two in there. And then we're also going to be using this die set. This is the Stitch Banner Duo 1 die set. So let's jump in. We're going to do some stamping. We're going to stamp some cocktails. I don't know what it is about summer drinks, but they just make me happy. I guess if you drink it for you, it would make you happy too. But <laughs> I'm grabbing all of the drinks in the stamp set and we're going to stamp them with the Misty. I have some white cardstock and I'm bringing in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Both of these are alcohol marker friendly. These images are so cute. And you know what? I actually had created another card using the Summer Drinks stamp set. I'll link it at the end of the video if you guys want to check that one out too. But these are like the perfect size for backgrounds, for accent pieces. And they don't have to necessarily be cocktails. You could actually create some lemonade or limeade with them. So I think they're really fun. Let's ink them up again with Memento ink. This is my go-to ink for my stamping. And we'll just press these down and we are good to go. They're already seasoned, so one shot did it. <laughs> and while we still have the Misty out, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Let's clean these off, put these back so I don't lose them. And then there is a summer um, sentiment in this stamp set. There's a coordinating die that will cut the summer out. So we'll stamp this on some white cardstock. Instead of using Memento ink, I'm bringing in my Versifying Onyx Black ink. It's a more rich black ink. It's perfect for sentiments. So I'll stamp this. I'm going to press down a little more, and our sentiment is good to go. Versifying stays wet a little bit longer, so you want to be careful not to smear it. But we're going to do some coloring. So I'm going to play a little music while I color. I did speed the coloring up. Um, and I did list the caps in the top right corner for you guys too of the colors of Copics that I used. Um, when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. I'm going to go ahead and take my coordinating dies and cut this out. This stamp set is actually a 3x4 stamp set, so it's a smaller one. And I like that there is dies that can cut out the images. We'll line them up, tape them down, run these through our die cutting machine. And I loved, love the bright colors. Um, and then the brown just kind of makes everything pop with the coconut. 
<laughs> okay, these are going to go set aside, and then we're going to work on our background. For my background, I thought we would bring in a, you know, I like to do stuff dif different. <laughs> so this is a white cardstock. I'm bringing in my Layering Cloud stencil set. There's two pieces in here. You can use them individually or layer them together to create fluffy, cow fluffy clouds. So that's what we're going to do. Grab my pixie spray. We'll spray them. And I think we're going to start with the thinner edged cloud one first. Line it up kind of in the middle. And it originally I was just going to do some blue clouds. And I thought oh, blue clouds can get kind of, um, are kind of normal. So let's go a little bit outside of normal today and create some um, summery rainbow clouds. How about that? I thought since I already have a lot of ink on my blending brushes, I'm just going to use my blending brushes. Um, I keep them on my desk and they stand straight up so that the ink is still on the brush. So I thought we'll just keep it kind of light and airy um, and just go over it with the existing ink. First um, color, I'll, I'll let you know the colors that I think I used. The blue was Peacock Feathers. Um, next was Twisted Citron. This one has um, my yellow, which is probably a combination of mustard seed and um, uh, squeeze lemonade. All of these are oxide inks, guys. Um, I'm going in with my blue brush on the very bottom. I thought we'd have a top and bottom with the blue and then kind of sandwich a rainbow of color in between. Next we'll use our pink brush. This has either worn lipstick or a picked raspberry, probably a little bit of both, but we'll ink these up. This way when I bring it up to the yellow, um, I'll have a corally orange and if I bring it down to the blue, I'll have a nice little lavender or purple. That's layer one. What we're going to do is take layer two, add it to our panel and do the exact same thing. Now, I wasn't sure if this would turn into a muddy mess or not, but I love the way this turned out. It turned out so light and airy and fluffy and bright. Um, so I was happy with the outcome, kind of going outside the box with the cloud colors. Okay, we'll take our blue brush, go over it. This is our green brush, we'll go over it. And then our yellow brush, go over this here, bring in our pink brush, add a little shading, and I'm afraid my pink brush doesn't have too much ink left on it. Um, I might have to grab a little bit more of picked raspberry to brighten it up a bit. Um, I think we we'll have to do that. I'll just use the ink that's on my lid, and we'll add a little more color, a little more up here, and we'll add our blue brush in the very bottom, bring back that blue up. And I think my blue brush is probably a little bit dry too. So we'll, I only brought in a couple extra colors. This is Peacock Feathers and we'll brighten up that bottom area. And we have a nice rainbow colory background. I think it turned out so neat. It's going to go perfect with my little cocktails. And I think after a few of those cocktails, um, this is what the cloudy sky will probably look like. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my paper trimmer and trim off about a quarter inch off the top and off the side. This is going to leave me a little bit of a uh, border on my card base. I did add adhesive behind it and we'll just tack this down in the center of an A2 size card front. It's a top folding card base. Okay, now we need a place to adhere our, our little fruity drinks here. I'm going to be using the Stitch Duo, or Stitch Banner Duo 1 die set. It has a banner and a square. I'll take the square, die cut that out with white cardstock. I like it because this has, this has stitch detail. And then the banner, we're going to die cut out with vellum. This way you can still see the, the light and airy, uh, fun clouds behind our, our centerpiece here. I'm going to adhere this to my vellum, just using my tape runner. Once this is adhered, we're going to take our summer sentiment. We'll flip this over, add some small foam squares behind it, and this is going to go towards the top on our little stitch square piece there. This is going to give me a home too to stamp the rest of my sentiment. In the stamp set, there is, I think I may have told you this, but there's Life is Sweet, and then there is also Cheers. I'm going to stamp cheers right below summer. So our sentiment will say summer cheers. 
I'm going to use my Versafine ink here lightly. I always get nervous when I do this because I am so heavy handed. If I don't have the Misty with these small sentiments, I actually, one side gets um, thicker than the other. <laughs> but it turned out good. I got lucky. Now we're going to pop up each one of our cocktails, add them just below our sentiment, and we're going to go the full width of our little banner. So some are going to be overhanging. I try to make it so that the overhanging parts are equally proportioned. Um, it just makes it a little bit more balanced. Now I'm going to pop up my vellum piece. We're going to add some foam tape behind it. We'll just remove the release paper and then this is going to go in the center of our, our card. And I love how the summery, airy feel of this. Okay, after we have our banner adhered, making sure it's straight, so we get to add some bells and whistles. So I'm bringing in some sparkling clear sequin mix. Love the sequin mix. If you guys like clear sequins in all different kinds of sizes, this is the sequin mix for you. And everything I use today will be down below downstairs <laughs> I'm gonna use my glue and ad adhere them when I add sequins I actually like to add them at a diagonal so I have the S that's top heavy so I'm gonna instead of going to the right with my diagonal sequins I'm gonna go to the left so the top right corner bottom left corner I'll just glue those down and then last but not least I thought we'd add a little bit of gloss and dimension to the ice cubes so I'm bringing in my glossy accents and just adding a little bit of glossiness to my ice cubes. Glossy accents will go on a little bit cloudy, but when it dries, it'll dry clear and they'll look just like ice cubes. But that's my project for Pretty Pink Posh. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Have a fabulous day and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.